Hello guys and welcome to this new Power BI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following interactive dashboard using house sales in King County, USA. As you can see, we are going to create different charts. We have a bar chart, we have a map, scatter plot, and also box plot. I'm going to use slicers and also I'm going to use parameters. As you can see, we are going to create two different parameters. And in our data set, we have many fields. So instead of creating nine different slicers, we're going to create two different parameters. And for example, as you can see, when we select bedrooms, we have a list of bedrooms. And this list will automatically appear in here. And we're going to select the number of bedrooms that we have. So instead of creating nine different slicers for the nine different fields, we're going to create two parameters and we're going to select the field in the first parameter and the list within the field in the second parameter. For example, if we want to select all the five bedrooms waterfront, so we click on waterfront, it will be one, and we come back to the first one, we press control key, we select bedrooms, and the same thing in here, we go to one, so we remove this one, remove this one, remove this one, remove this one, so we said five bedrooms and like that we get our five bedrooms right so here we have total sales by month as you can see october and june are the highest ones since they contain four so for five bedrooms for the front same thing we can see the price on the map and the relationship between the square feet living so the area in square feet and the price and also here we can see the different prices. So we have the average, the maximum, the minimum, etc. But before start creating our dashboard, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set and you can find this link in the description to download data set directly. As you can see, this data set contains house sales prices for Key County and between May 2014 and May 2015. And if you go down here, we can see that we have 21 columns, right? So the first one is the ID of each cell. And we have the date, the price, the total bedrooms and total bathrooms. Next, we have the square feet living, right? So the size in square feet, the low square feet, the floors, waterfront one or zero. So if it is zero, it is not waterfront. If it is one, it is waterfront. We have its view. So the view is from zero to four. We have the condition, so the better is the condition, the higher is the value. Same thing for grade. We have the square feet above, square feet of the basement, the built year, the renovation year. We have the zip code, we have latitude and longitude for the maps. And we have also the square feet living and square feet low. So now let's import our data set and start creating our dashboard. So here I have created new report and to get data we click on get data text CSV all right we click on load okay so here we have imported our data set and as you can see we have all the fields in here the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to create the parameters so click on modeling new parameter fields so here we select our fields so we have bathrooms bedrooms the condition, the floors, the grade, we have the view, waterfront, year built and renovated, create, so format that, settings it will be drop down and for the header it will be bold in black and same thing for the values we also add the border so it will be on 20 okay so we can decrease this one like that so we copy paste this one put it in here and for this one so click on the parameter and show values of selected field. Now, if we select 
the bedrooms we can have the list of the bedrooms in here right same thing if we select the view we get the view in here right so here we have created our parameters next we are going to create the slicers so same thing slicer first one it will be the date and we are going to format that so for the header same thing in black values also okay and we add the border 20 so we can put it here in the center like that okay this one like this decrease this one and we can decrease this one now we add the size here so instead of the date we have the square foot eleven. okay and next so we copy paste Just one this one like this. Can decrease this one. All right. Here we have the price. okay so like that we have our parameters and our slicers now I'm going to create different charts so we start by the bar chart so we set the count of the cells by month so remove the year the quarter and the day okay so we can put it here that and we are going to format that so the first thing that we need to do is to add the labels and remove the grid lines so for the labels they will be black in bold right and same thing for the x and y axis so remove the title and the values in black bold same thing for the x axis so we remove the title black and bold for the title it will be sales total sales by month it will be in the center black bold and we can add the border so effects border on and it will be 20 same thing we can decrease this one a little bit and for the colors so we'll go to the colors we select the gradient and we have the count of the id right so the minimum it will be this color the maximum black and we add middle color it will be gray okay now we can remove the legend and like that we get our bar chart next we are going to create the map so select the map and for latitude we have the latitude same thing for longitude and for the bubble size we are going to select the average of the price okay now we can put it like that and we are going to format the map okay so just like this we'll go here map settings it would be dark so for the title it will be the average price
and also the border same thing it will be black 20 right now for the colors so little bubbles right colors we select gradient and the lowest value it will be this red and the highest value so more colors it will be this red so it will be the price as the average okay all right so here we have our map so just for the dimensions it is right okay for the title it will be in the center black bolt all right next we have the scatter plots so we see the scatter plot and the y-axis we have the price don't sum don't summarize right and on the y-axis we are going to have the square foot living same thing don't summarize okay i'm going to format that so we remove the grid lines as you can see we have a positive correlation between the two variables so for the x-axis the values in black and bold and same thing for the title so bold black Y axis also the same thing. So black bold and same thing for the title. All right. So for the effects border on twenty and the title it will be bolt black in the center okay this is just for the all right so the grid lines remove this one so for the grid lines remove also vertical grid lines and for the colors so go to markers color and we select same thing the gradient so here the gradient and we have the price as the average right so same thing the lowest value the highest value and the mid value right okay and also I'm going to remove the legend so legend off okay so here also we have our scatter plot just here I'm going to put okay so remove this one and the price in here don't summarize okay now to create the box plot we click in here get more visuals search box and we select this one add okay and here we have our box so we click on it and on the axis we are going to put the price access category one we are going to put the bedrooms and for the value we are going to put the price as the average all right so here we have our 
Foxplot. And I'm going to format that. So the first thing that we need to do is to add the folder. 20. And same thing for the title. So we have the price by total bedrooms, right? In the center, black gold. Next, we are going to modify so for the grid lines off for the x-axis it will be in black so title color so in black and same thing for the y-axis so black title color black and here for the dots I'm going to put them in black okay so if we click in here like that we get our box plot so if we close everything we get our final dashboard for the total house sales in King County in USA so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.